I spent a day at a theme park and the one feature that I found useful that I hadn't really used before was screen lock. I had the X3 on a chest mount so it was really hard to see the screen and the first roller coaster I went on I accidentally recorded in hyperlapse mode. So after that I set the camera to 5.7k video and then I swiped down on the screen and selected this icon. This locks the screen but you can still use the record button on the front and screen lock is also useful for recording underwater as well. And a quick shout out to Bushman Pan who are the sponsors of this video and they have a new quick release camera accessory which we'll take a look at in a minute. So now on to the next tip. If you're in a rush then it's really easy to accidentally shoot in single lens mode as well when you're meant to be in 360 mode. So remember that with 360 mode your preview image will take up the entire screen and you should see 5.7k written here. In single lens mode you will see black bars top and bottom on the screen. To temporarily turn off the screen quick press the on button button and then press it again to turn it back on. So that you can monitor your image in 360, you can press and hold the center of the screen and then swipe around the whole entire 360 image. You then press the cross to exit this mode. To quickly switch between the front and the rear lenses, you can press this button here. You can toggle between single lens mode and 360 mode by pressing this button here. It switches first to the inner lens, which is the side with the screen, and with the second press, it switches to the outer lens so the lens facing away from you. Press it again and it goes back to 360 mode. The Q button on the right hand side underneath the on button gives you a quick access menu to your favorite settings and you can save them under headings such as biking, skiing or customized settings. And at the moment I don't think you can write your own label so it's just called customized one, two, three, four or five. To add a new preset, press the plus icon. But if you have five presets already then you'll have to delete one and you can do this by pressing the three dots and then selecting delete or overwrite and this will then overwrite with the existing camera settings. Swipe down from the top of the screen and you have a quick access menu all on one page and here you can turn on quick capture. With quick capture when the camera is off you can press record and then the camera will switch on start recording straight away and then when you press stop recording it will stop recording and then switch the camera off. With me mode you point and shoot and there's no need to edit or reframe your shot. To switch the camera to me mode select the camera icon, select single lens mode and then select me mode. Me mode shoots in 9x16 and 16 at maximum resolution of 1080 and it's aimed at social media use for TikTok and Instagram reels etc. To get these shots I use Bushman Panoramics new pro monopod which has some really cool features that allow you to get shots that you just can't get with any other monopod. It has this huge tripod and a huge counterweight which is super stable but the new product that I know that you'll really love for the X3 is this quick release camera accessory. You simply pull down this metal sleeve and you can attach and detach your camera really quickly and easily and if you have two of these you can move from a selfie stick to a tripod or a bike mount and if you have one then you can still detach it with the quick release and then you can use the integrated thread to reattach it to another accessory. And there's also a lanyard attachment so you can keep this safely around your neck. And most importantly for 360, this stays invisible in your 360 shots. And I've left a link to it in the description below, but now let's get on to the next tip. You can change how long it takes for the LCD screen to sleep by swiping down and then selecting the cog icon. Then swipe down to auto sleep. I'd recommend buying a lens cap instead of using the neoprene case. It's much easier to take it on and off and I just use the pouch to store the camera when I finish using it for the day and also I personally wouldn't charge the camera while it's in the case I know that there is a slot there but I just wouldn't do it just in case it overheats take care of your lenses never rest the camera lens on a hard surface and always keep your lenses clean any dust or smudges on your lenses will affect the quality of your images and make sure that when you close the USB door and the battery compartment that they click into place and that no yellow is showing on the tab here if you have any yellow showing then the camera won't be waterproof. My recommendation would be to buy 128 gigabyte cards and reduce the risk of losing a load of footage. 
the camera can take one terabyte cards which would give you more than 14 hours of video. If that card got lost, damaged or corrupted or you lost your camera that would be a lot of footage to lose and it could be like a month's worth of filming. And if you're filming a really important event then try and take several cards with you and that way you don't have to delete the original footage, you can wait until you get home so you know that all your footage is safely backed up. You can recalibrate your gyroscopes if you notice that anything unusual is happening with your stabilisation or the camera is drifting on its own. To recalibrate, swipe down from the top of the screen and then select the cog icon. In here, swipe down to the bottom and then select gyro calibration and then you'll be talked through how to do it. If you're using the quick reader or the mic adapter, you can easily remove the door by gently pulling it here. When shooting in single lens mode, if you want to shoot in 4K resolution, then you have to use the default field of view, which is default FOV. So select the camera icon in the bottom left hand corner and then select single lens. Tap on the resolution at the bottom here and then select default FOV in the top left hand corner and then swipe across on the resolution to 4K. If you film in FOV plus this films with flow state stabilization but it does restrict the resolution to 2.7K. If you want to find out what the best accessories are for the X3 then you want to watch this video next. My name's Rich, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.